Remember how waves can combine to form either constructive or destructive interference? Well, this behavior gets even more interesting when you place those waves in three dimensions, like sound waves filling a room or Wi-Fi signals going dead around corners. Suppose you have two sources making waves that spread out everywhere in a room. At each point in the room, these two waves will interfere either constructively or destructively. We can determine which will happen by comparing the distances between this point and the two speakers. Let's call these distances L1 and L2. If L1 and L2 differ by a whole number times the wavelength, then the two waves are each overlapping at a peak, and we have constructive interference making a stronger wave. However, if L1 and L2 differ by a whole number plus a half times the wavelength, then the two waves are overlapping at a peak and a trough, and we have destructive interference making a weaker wave. This is just like the phase difference that we observed earlier, being equal to either zero or pi. Checking every single point in a room by hand would be tiresome, but it's a perfect task for a computer code. Here we create two source points for our waves at the bottom of the grid. Here we set up the grid with each point shown as a box. At each grid point, we calculate the difference between the distance from the grid point to source one and the distance from the grid point to source two. Remember, we only care about how this distance compares with the wavelength, so we use a mathematical operation called the modulus. The modulus takes the first number, divides it by the second number, and gives you the remainder of that division. If this remainder is close to zero or one, then we have constructive interference. If this remainder is close to one half, then we have destructive interference. We represent the type of interference as the brightness of each box. Constructive interference produces a bright spot, while destructive interference produces a dark spot. The result shows us a stunning visual of where constructive and destructive interference occurs. We call this effect diffraction, and we refer to these patterns as fringes. You can change the fringe pattern by adjusting the wavelength, or changing the distance between the sources. Follow the link in the description below to find a set of activities that will help you learn more about diffraction.